Okay, so today we're going to do another silhouette collection video um, from up this side of the stacks this time. Um, I initially planned to do this as a brand silhouette, no, a brand collection, sorry. And I was going to do every shoe across the sort of like three uh, silhouettes that I own. And then I got them all down and I realised how many there were and I was thinking this is going to be a 25 minute video. So I'm just going to do... Um, the one, the big one, and then I'll decide if I do the other two smaller silhouettes together. Enough lollygagging. Um, the silhouette in question is the Diodora N9000. <clears throat> and they're onward and upward with the first pair. So this is the OG box. The kind of like bog standard box. Very much not a bog standard shoe. Um, but this is the limited edition store Times Diodora Castella and the N9000. So they'll, they'll all be N9000s. So, so, yeah, just a really premium pair, very sought after pair, really nice kind of combinations of black, the teal, the peach, red, you know, hits of red, especially on the inside, the Diodora stripe, um, and the, the kind of like bandana print that comes with a bandana. It comes with a tote bag, um, and all, all the paper paper in the box is all bandana related. It's all that lovely stuff that we then never really look at or touch. Um, bunch of spare, spare laces, ropes, teal ropes, flat black, rope black. I've always worn them with the teal and black dotted ropes, um, and a, a limited edition store on the front there. The Castella himself, um, and then Castella's written um, on the yeah where the N9000 would typically be written. So if you don't know anything about Spanish Castellas, obviously like, give it a quick Google. Do your Googles. Um, yeah, just kick off with an amazing pair. Why not? Uh, and then I'm going to follow up with another amazing pair. Actually, that, I mean, it's my collection, the shoes I choose to keep. So for me, they're all amazing, but particularly amazing ones. So another special edition box. This time, collab with Packer. So purple, purple box paper, a purple shoe. Packer times Raekwon, the chef, times Diodora, purple tape. Parental ex uh, um, explicit, parental advisory explicit logo on the front there showing it. Two, this is the second tape, if anyone's on this channel is old enough to remember. Cassettes would come with one and two on them. Um, so they have the one and two there. Hopefully you can make some of that out, some will be invisible, but the track listings from the album all on the insoles um also comes with flat purples and flat black for me that purple rope is always gonna win, win that debate they're in there now and they will stay in them until the day they crumble and more than upward and make sure everything gets back in because I will just throw all these boxes back up in the stacks otherwise and then it will be god knows how long until that gets corrected so um so yeah then the follow-up to that side one side two so more purple tape purple album stuff um This is the follow-up, Packer, Raekwon, Diodora. Only built for Cuban links, which is the name, the actual name of the purple tape. The purple tape is kind of like the colloquial name. Actually, just while we're here, let me whip the other one up here, just so you can see those two shoes, right? And then in these two corners, I'm gonna ping up the album cover, which is, this is taken homage or paying homage to and then the actual album cassette itself which this one is paying homage to so you can see the two there 
and you can see the two images that they are basically recreating in the beautiful form of sneakers. So yeah, great, it's not a pack, but a great collection of my, the two Raycon Theodoras, again, both widely, widely, um, and, and out in, um, unanimously thought of as great. In the Theodora community. And I go from that to a completely unhyped collab. <clears throat> so, let's see here what the, the, um, the brands are. I have the other side. It's ice cream related. This is the Gelato pack. Um, and then we have two colorways, pistachio and then strawberry. Comes with the hundreds and thousands shaker, but it's bare laces. That's the, this is the pistachio. And then this is the strawberry, although the colorway is called peach nougat, which I guess also very much sounds like a, um, like an ice cream flavor. Um, both made with beautifully premium um, materials. Um, really, really nice in hand. And I, I have to say, I chronically under, underwear them. So I think I'm going to have to make a deal with myself that these are going to get rocked a lot this, this summer. To kind of make up for the last couple of years. I don't think I've worn either of them for maybe two years. But I think every time I open the box, they just look so good. Um, Almost all special edition boxes here. So big old yellow box. This is the extra butter. Giallo, it's called. Comes with a dust bag. Um, the colorway is absolutely bonkers. And it's meant to represent, um, I think it's like 1940s, 50s, 60s, somewhere around there, um, Italian slasher movies. Um, which I think they're all, or, or books, they're always like yellow covers or something like that. I read up about it like two, three years ago when I bought these and I still can't remember now, but the really, really nice, um, like this just mixture of the, the peach, the red, the purple, the darker purple, and then the black um, on the super, super premium materials just like really hits. One of the bits that I really like the most about this shoe is this stitched on hopefully you can see it there because it's black on black but that stitched on extra butter on the on the back just really really looks nice um so there's bare black and purple laces i've kept with the peach ones because it matches the toe box um i just it's one of those shoes where you're looking at me like, how the hell did they make that work it makes no sense on, in theory, it shouldn't work. They look damn good. I mentioned this with my Miami Dolphins, um, uh, the Ronnie Feig Jolo 3s. They go in the same ballpark for me. They usually get one with a very pared down fit. It's typically like grey um, Feral Good Sweatshorts. I'll go with the, like, the, maybe the dark heathered oatmeal colour. Um, just because they're so bright. Um, okay, so on to one of the first Deodorans I ever picked up. Um, I want to say these are 2015. So this is Concept, um, Lira it's called. They are based on the Italian 5,000, 500,000 Lira note from before the Euro, before they introduced the Euro, and you have the Concept badge on the tongue um, in that kind of like shiny. Um, thing where it looks like the kind of like legit stamp on on a on a banknote, and um, really really plush suede all over green, yellow, blue, pink. Um, yeah, they're just they're just again another really really nice, really really nice shoe. Concepts. Um, I now have like this from my Diodora collection. See, so I have the heavies from last year, from my MX ones. I have the Otoro Joe Light threes. I'm starting to like slowly build up my collection. 
there. And then I'm going to do a pack of three after this. Final one before that. Packer again. So this is the third pair of packers. Probably my least favourite of the three, but I mean the other two are like almighty grails. This is the Dinamo Zagreb or the Zagreb colorway. It looks like their soccer shirt. The paper in the box looks just like this because um, that's what they infamously have on their shirts. Um, a bit more of a tricky wear. Again, this is like I mean, it's quite it's quite sporty as you would expect it being after a soccer team. Quite a sporty um, vibe to them, but. Still nice. Um, and then I'm gonna go with this three pack just to close things off. We've got no more N9000s anywhere. Yep, so three pairs. Just gonna pull them all out. I'm gonna go with the right side for each one of them. I'll show you why in a sec. Saturday special, I want to say 2015, 20, 2014 maybe, Transit 2, I want to say 2017, 2018, can't remember exactly, I mean I messed up the Jordan 1s and they're much easier to remember so I've consciously been trying not to keep shouting out years, and I think these are the 2020, having said that, I then shout out another year, um, alternate route, all, as you can see, very much like a mixture of, um, of teal, uh, teal kind of used everywhere here. Um, these are commonly thought of as absolute grails, again, in the Deodora community. This is kind of like halfway, and these, these were like not universally accepted. Um, though the quality on the three of them, like I, I don't think the quality goes down at all. I think the quality on the three of them is amazing. Um, but I do think these are slightly more wearable. Although my pair, I'm gonna need to get these cleaned. I think they need a deep, like professional clean. I've cleaned them myself, but didn't quite do the job. But um, yeah, either way, um, the reason I took the right shoe out, then you can see the um, the Hanon sign. So yeah, this is the Hanon pack. Um, they're all based around Scottish. Um, uh, like train infrastructure and the colors that I think that are used like on the seats on the trains themselves and kind of like everything that, that's um, part of it if you if you google Hannon you can see the insole there they, they really go to town with the branding inside the shoe and then there's none outside apart from that Hannon flame um, you see in here same thing the back of the tongue it's all Hannoned up um, yeah, same here again. All three of them have lots of that red kind of hand and lining in them. So yeah, that's my uh, uh, N9000 collection. Um, I am going to follow up with a V7000 video and then an N9002 video. And I would say that's probably, that's not the order. Actually, V7000 is my favorite, the Adora, but there's just not as many like collabs and, uh, and stuff in, in that model. So I went with this first because the N9 found is definitely my second favourite, um, and um, yeah, it was just like the one that I felt like doing. So, so yeah, and I have actually one Deodora that's neither of those three, so I'll just shoot on it into one of those two videos. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed. Again, as always, I enjoyed making it. Um, over and out.